Right, can I finish this? Pl <laughs> this is Daisy's best friend, Bella. From a distance, this one looks like, well, why are you even touching it? It doesn't need anything doing to it. Now, the customer wants this totally refinishing and she wants it a different colour. This has the Queen Anne style legs with the claw and ball feet, which are in a bit of a state really. And there's somebody to say hello. <laughs> She's just doing the inspection with me. Hello. <laughs> you always appear, don't you? <laughs> what are you doing? You can't. <sighs> what are you doing? Hey? What? There you go. It's a bit warm, isn't it? I've given her a haircut because it's quite warm here in the UK and she's struggling a bit. We're not struggling, but she's just too warm. So I'll give her a bit of a haircut. And she still looks cute. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good girl. Right, can I finish this? Pl <laughs> can I finish? Hey? Okay, there you go. Good girl. Alright, let me finish this now. Right, so... Really, really nice veneer. Really lovely. You can see the light, you can see the lights bouncing off the lacquer. Um, it's got a lovely, lovely grain pattern in this. Um, there's a little bit of damage here and there, but mainly it's the finish rather than the actual ward and the veneer. I'm sure I'll find something as I start working on it, but yeah, it's got some lovely, uh, lovely grain pattern in this. So it's got the stays for the top and these are the sort of automatic ones so these come out when you when you put the top down they automatically come out rather than you having to pull them out. So I'll show you the inside. The inside a couple of what appear to be ink stains there. The hardware to do with a bit of a clean up, some damage to that, which I'll have a look at later. Again, damage to the veneer, the blotter is not in bad condition actually. And again, just the uh, just the finish. So, right, we will crack on restoring this beautiful writing bureau. That is lovely. <laughs> right, 
I mentioned before that I don't know what this finish is and it that the stripper has made it really gooey and horrible so this is what I've taken off look at that that is I don't know what that is it's honestly it's like treacle So if anybody's got any idea what this finish might be, I, th I think it's some sort of shellac, but maybe with some lacquer in it, or I don't know. But any experts on finishes, let me know what that could be in the comments. Yuck. It's time to remove the hardware. Now this might sound like teaching your granny to suck eggs but some old hardware has these on the back. So normally what you'd find if it didn't have a cover on it, this is just this is just simply a metal cover. You'd normally get either a a nut on the back or it'd just screw directly into the wood. So I have asked, I have been asked, how do you remove handles that have got these on the back? So, really simple. I'll just show you now. So this is it. This is the this is the the nut cover. So the best way to do it, well, a, a decent way to do it, is get a pair of long nose pliers, tightly grip, and just wiggle, and it comes off. And as you can see, I don't know whether you can see there, it's just got little spikes that stick in the wood. And then that's covering that. So then all you do is just unscrew. This actually comes in three pieces, which is unusual. It's normally just one piece and a bolt for some reason that comes in three pieces and it's not broke that's just how it's meant to be what's the matter have you lost your cork where have you put the cork then Daisy where's your cork I know where's your cork where is it Come on, let's get you another one. Right, just hurry up, please. We've got stuff to do. Ready, go. So it's like a cow with these spots, look. <laughs> Daisy the cow. She's happy. Normally I take these out, um, but that's got a back on it. It's got a lip under there so it won't slide out. I think it needs to go out the back. Um, these are attached somewhere. So there is actually screws here, just one second, I'll show you. You see there, one there, and one there, and one there. I can't see any others. So, I'll get them out first. That's coming loose, but there's a lip there. That's going to have to go that way. So we've got to try and get the back up. <laughs> Is that the any gap? around and that one's the same. So we need to try and prise that off. There we go. So that popped out there. Just waggle it. 
rather than there we go. There's two. Next thing, I'm going to take these off. So look, when you shut the lid, that's what happens. So I need to take them off so I can strip them and restain them and then fix them back and clean all that up. So, two screws on the top, so I'll shut the lid. Because I've used the wrong screwdriver, it's not it's too fat for the for the slot. Luckily I'm gonna refurbish that anyway. So. We'll do something with that in a minute. Not too sure whether they're stains or they're just ink on the top, so. Thankfully, these ink stains hadn't penetrated into the wood, they were just sat on the finish, so they came off really easy. Right, that took about an hour <laughs> just to strip that. All I need to do now is sand every single piece of it before I stain it, and then I finish it and then I reassemble it. <laughs> so, not much to do. Oh, there she is. She's ball obsessed. <laughs> this is Daisy's best friend, Bella. She'll stay here all day, wanting me to throw the ball. <laughs> Look. Ready? Ready? I did check these drawers originally before sanding and, and they seem really solid, but when I was sanding the inside, I knocked the side and it came loose, so I rechecked all the drawers and any that were loose I re-glued. I've had this on bureaus before that have got these, I think they're called cabriole legs. But obviously these have got to claw and ball feet and they're loose. That one's loose, that one's loose. They're all a little bit loose. The reason for that is that they are screwed and glued and the glue just dries out over time and the screws just sort of work the way loose so we will tackle that you can see there there's remnants of the glue all dried out so we just need to clean that area up I'm not quite at the full sanding stage yet, but because these legs had been removed, I thought it'd be easier just to sand them while they were off the piece.
these are the drop down mechanism supports and I don't think these are brass at all looks like they've been coloured in some way but they need something doing with them they're a bit of a, a, bit of a state so I might have to spray these but we'll just see how we go yeah see they're not gold they're just steel so I'll just finish them up and then I'll, I'll probably give them a spray To clean the draw pulls I'm using some white vinegar and water, just leave those to soak for about an hour and then rinse off with a soft nylon brush, then dry them off and then I'm going to polish them up with some steel wool. If you're wondering why there's only five, I've already got to go cleaning one off camera. You can see them, a bit dull, so, some white wool, some four zero. Oh, look at that. This grain is absolutely beautiful. So obviously I don't want to go <laughs> I don't want to go through the veneer because this is definitely veneer. You can see how it book matched there. I'm gonna go in with this sander on a low setting and this is only 240 grit so should be alright with that. If you notice I'm not going too near the edge so I'm gonna have to do this by hand I think because I don't wanna I don't wanna go over the edge because that will definitely burn through that veneer it's really thin. So just carry on nice and gentle. The felt on the drop down supports was quite dirty and I've used this little method before, just some of the general cleaner, the degreaser, agitate that with a small nylon brush, dilute it back with some water and then just simply dab it off and they look a lot better. All stripped, all repaired, all sanded, just need to get some of the dust off with some white spirit. And I'm to stain in top coat. It's been a big job. <laughs> as you can see, I'm using the colour walnut for this, and I will be using another colour as well. I haven't shown the footage, but all this was wiped down with white spirits prior to staining. I decided to go with a different colour for the internal letter dividers and also the internal parts of the drawers just to give that bit of added contrast and this is rosewood. As you can see there, I'm using a clear acrylic lacquer as the top coat and I just like using this, it gives a really nice finish. This had, I think in total, three coats with a rub down between each coat.
Whilst I put this back together, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody that supports the channel, whether that's through the buy me a coffee page, my Amazon wish list, the super thanks button, or simply by hitting the thumbs up and leaving a comment. I really do appreciate you watching and helping me to grow my YouTube channel. Thanks very much. We are coming to the end of the video now and the only thing left to do is for me to feed the drawers and the back of the unit using my favourite Howard's Feed and Wax. Again, I'd just like to say thank you very much if you've lasted this long, it's quite a long video. And if you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. And before you move on to the next video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel and it'll allow me to make more of these videos. So I hope you've enjoyed the process. We're ready for the final reveal and as always, Thanks for watching.